Hey, welcome to the Jody Tried It podcast. My name is Jody Taylor. I am your host. Uh, on this podcast, I chat about all of the things that I have tried and I'm trying courses, memberships, apps. What do they all have in common? They all have to do with personal and professional development. Two things I want to say up front or ask. Um, one, in terms of statements, is that many of the episodes will feature affiliate links. I only chat about and share things that I love, that I use, or I highly recommend, or I think you might find useful yourself and be interested in. Second, if you haven't already done so, please sign up for my weekly newsletter. You can do that at jodytaylor.ck.page. That's Jody Taylor, all one word, CK as in convert kit. Dot page. Jody is spelled the way I spell it and my mom spells it, J-O-D-D-I-E. So that's J-O-D-D-I-E-T-A-Y-L-O-R dot C-K dot page. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And I hope, again, if you haven't already, you subscribe to my weekly newsletter. Thank you so much for listening. So for the last almost three months now, I have been an Amazon influencer, which means I make Amazon product review videos and post them on Amazon, and then I earn commissions. Uh, I also recently started posting some of my videos, some of my product reviews on YouTube, and I've spoken about um, the course I took. I took a course by Ellie Watson to learn how to figure out to navigate being an Amazon influencer. But I haven't spoken about some free resources. So in particular today, I want to share seven YouTubers that I have learned from. And I think for each of these folks, yep, I am subscribed to their YouTube channels. So let me say up front, uh, if you watch their videos, consume their content, you may or may not agree with their perspective. And I think you'll find varying perspectives. And that is true of the internet and YouTube. You can find one topic and hear several different takes on it. Being an Amazon product reviewer, an Amazon influencer, it can be a little convoluted. Um, to my knowledge, the program is fairly new, like two or three years old, and it has changed a lot. And there's a lot that's... Um, anecdotal, you know, so you'll hear theories on why someone's storefront isn't doing as well as they thought or what Amazon is thinking. But as far as I can tell, Amazon produces very little in terms of concrete evidence. Like this is why your shop isn't doing well, or this is why this person has high numbers. I don't think they share details like that. So the point is, if you hear something, if it don't apply, let it fly. So let's get into it. This is not in order of importance. Um, You're going to hear clicking because I'm on my laptop in the background. So the first YouTuber is Kathleen Koval. Um, I subscribe to her YouTube channel. And I think to get her lives, she does lives every Fridays. I think you have to be almost positive. You have to be a subscriber of her YouTube channel. So keep that in mind. In general, I find her YouTube videos to be very informative. She's really great at um, discussing trends with the Amazon Influencer Program. So she'll be like, hey, this news came out. This is going on. And she'll talk a little bit about it. And if you're in the Amazon product reviewer world, you'll you'll often hear YouTubers say, well, I can't show you the back end. I can't you know, give you all the details. It can seem a little secretive, but it's just like a policies things. So if you become an Amazon influencer, if you are, the devil is in the details. Like try to stay on top of it. Watch YouTube videos because things change all the time. Check your inbox, check spam, make sure you're getting your your Amazon emails because they do send um, emails out. And if you blink, sometimes you'll miss it. Just make sure it's not in promotions if you have Gmail. Um, So that's Kathleen Koble with a K, Kathleen and Koble, K-O-B-E-L. Links to all these YouTubers will be in the show notes. Next up, my favorite things, not a real influencer. Um, That is Jordan. Her name is Jordan. That is her YouTube channel. She is documenting her journey um, as an Amazon. I think when she started it, she was not an Amazon influencer and now she is. And so here you can find product reviews and she talks about how much she made. I'm going to scroll through. Looks like she's been in it for two months. 
So she has two, she has a review for July 2024 and a review for, uh, uh, overview, I guess, of um, July 2024 and August 2024, how much she made. If you're already in the program and you got into, into, when I say the program, if you're already an Amazon influencer and you got into creator connections and you're confused, <laughs> you're not alone. Um, Jordan just posted a or just published a video, like a tutorial. I only watched half of it, but if you are mildly interested, go ahead and check it out because what I've seen so far, she breaks it down. I'm going to finish watching the rest of it later. I think she breaks it down in a clear manner. And she has a really fun kind of almost quirky energy. I don't really know how to describe it, but I love her vibe. Check her out. So that's my favorite things, not a real influencer. And then the next YouTube channel is Mercedes Gomez. You are going to find a ton of content about the Amazon influencer program. Um, and she also talks about other side hustles and working, um, online, very, very interesting YouTube channel. And I think you'll find some tips on, I remember watching one of her videos on how she actually sets up um, like her camera and lights and does thumbnails for her Amazon storefront. So I thought it was interesting. Next up, oh, I should say, let me see. I think her latest video goes into this. Yeah, so she had quit her job over a year ago uh, to double down on the Amazon influencer program and other side hustles. And now she's back working full time. If this is the kind of thing that you're into, like financial freedom, side hustles, you'll love her YouTube channel. Uh, next up, Nikisha. This is one of the first YouTubers I watched trying to learn more about the Amazon influencer program. So again, I purchased a course at this point, two courses, both by Ellie Watson about the Amazon influencer program. Uh, but I still felt like I needed more information. Can you find out everything you need to know through YouTube? Yes, you can. For me, because uh, it's free and you know you just need time. For me, I just wanted all the information in one place and I didn't know what I didn't know. So the course was better for me. And I, if I had to do it again, I would have definitely started with the course because I had the foundation and then I was trying to find more information and more details because it is an evolving program. But yes, 100%, I could have done it just on YouTube alone and figured it out. Um, so if this is the way you want to go, here are some YouTubers that I follow, that I subscribe to, and some of them I started out with. So again, it's Nakisha, N-A-K-I-S-H-A. You will find tons of content here, not just on the Amazon Influencer Program, but like blogging, being a creator, making money, side hustles. So that's Nakisha. Um, next up, Alex Camp. So he posts, it looks like about every month or so. And from, 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 from him, you're going to get videos about like how much he made on Amazon. He does a monthly update that I find interesting. And um, just scrolling through, I think he talks about other side hustles. Oh, he does some DIY. But I watch, um, I watch his videos to hear about his take on the Amazon Influencer Program. Okay, next up, Dina Lu. So she has a fairly recent video as of this recording. It was about a week ago on her experience in the Amazon Influencer Program. It says first month results. Very interesting. If you are just wondering what it's like the first month or first one to three months, first... I thought I feel like I'm stumbling over my words. We're going to keep going. For the first few months, this is a good video to watch, I think. Most of the video is blurred out, or at least half of it, because Amazon does not want you to show the back end. So this is pretty common. It, it is very common because it's against the rules. You can get banned from, they'll shut down your Amazon storefront. If they see, if they find out, if they, if Amazon finds out, that you are sharing your screen, taking screenshots, showing your actual numbers. So let's talk about that for a second. When you watch YouTube videos, when you hear me talk, I'll say like, oh, I made about around, you know, it's, I'm always like giving a ballpark figure and not the exact amount, like $1.88. Even if you hear me say $1.88, I can promise you it's probably a dollar thirty-three, or you know, I'm rounding up or or down because it's against 
the rules. And again, I find this Amazon program to be a little convoluted in that way because you don't know what you don't know. And there are policies and it's laid out. Um, but still there are things where you're like, what? That's true. Details, details, details. That's another reason to check out these YouTubers because every time I watch a video or every other time I'm like, oh, I didn't know that. Oh, I could do that. Oh, I can click there and that means that. Okay. Um, so Dina Lu. So she talks about creative business, personal development, and she only has, as far as I know, one post on the Amazon Influencer Program. But again, it's very recent. If you're listening to this in September 2024, October, November, December 2024, it's very recent for you and you may want to check it out and hear about her experience. Last but not least is Andrea. Um, this is someone I subscribe to on YouTube. I'm mentioning her because she also, just like Jordan, who I mentioned earlier, she also posted a video on Amazon Influencer, Creator Connections. Creator Connections, if I didn't mention earlier, it gives you an opportunity to earn higher commissions on products and an opportunity to work with brands in a more direct way. Like for example, you're able to message them. There are campaigns, you can accept a campaign and do product reviews and earn a higher commission. I'm going to make these numbers up. If you would usually earn 2% on a bottle of vitamins, if you um, work with a company, maybe you'll earn 10%, 25%. It, it varies. You know what? It's funny that I picked vitamins because I'm in the Creative Connections program and I'm, I'm actually looking at my vitamins, so it's not that funny. Sometimes I forget that this is audio, not video. So um, through Creative Connections, I got an opportunity to work with ZenWise. These are digestive enzymes that I already owned, that I was already taking, that I was already telling people about. So it worked out perfectly. Um, I'll put a link in the show notes. I think I have, I've done an ad, so to speak. Well, not so to speak, it is an ad on YouTube and also TikTok. So I'll put one of those links in the show notes so you can see what it looks like. So you have to say, up front, this is an ad, or so-and-so sent me a sample. In this case, like I said, I already owned it, so I didn't have a sample. So I said my story and my experience with it. It's something I was already talking about. That's the great thing I think about this program. I don't know if I've spoken about this before, but these are products I own by and large that I use, that I love, that I was recommending way before this program. So I just get a kick out of an opportunity to make a commission. Um, affiliate disclosure will be in the show notes. If you click through, for example, and get the ZenWise digestive enzymes, I will be paid a commission on qualified purchases. I want to say that orally, and of course it'll be written in the show notes. So the last person was Andrea. She does have a video on Creator Connections. Um, I haven't watched it all. I started last night. I am catching up today. I have a list of videos I want to watch. Personally, um, I just feel like the program is evolving so much. And so I like to keep up to date as much as possible with YouTubers. And they're not the end all be all. It's up to me to do what's best for me. And I just like to learn. And so I thought I would share. Okay, that's it. Those are the seven YouTubers that you can learn from or learn more about the Amazon Influencer Program. If anything, you're going to learn about their perspective and what they're doing and how they're doing. Um, YouTube and the algorithm will spit out other folks. I promise you, once you watch one of these videos or two of them, they'll be like, hey, what about this other video about the Amazon Influencer Program? So if none of these YouTubers resonate with you, YouTube will spit some more out or based on the titles or things that you're learning, you can do your own search on YouTube, even though I find all of these folks to be interesting and helpful. So of course, I hope that you also enjoy their content, but I get it. Not everything is for, for everyone. All right, let's end here. Thank you so much for listening. I hope this was helpful in some way. Take care.